Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Farmhouse Mama. So today is Friday and I am going to be making some pizza. So, um, nobody really likes cooking on Friday if they can help it. But I know my family prefers a home-cooked meal over anything else. But, um... With that being so, with that being said, today's home cooked meal is going to be pizza. And I'm going to be making it from scratch. So, let me show you guys some of the things that I have. So, I picked this pizza crust up here from Walmart. So, I'm going to be using this pizza crust. I also have some mozzarella cheese. I have a tomato picked straight from my garden, some pepperoni, I have some pizza sauce, I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. I also have two um, gypsy peppers from my garden, as well as some green peppers and yellow peppers and onion, um, the little frozen medley that you get from the grocery store. So I have that as well. And then I also have some black pepper, some basil, some Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and some oregano and that is just in case I need to uh, spice up this tomato sauce because I've never used this from the Dollar Tree before so I don't know what it tastes like but I'm going to open it up and taste it and doctor it up if I need to and um, then we can go ahead and add the sauce but um, let me go ahead and get the get everything open and get everything situated that way we can just go jump right into making this pizza I already have my oven preheated at 450 degrees and we're gonna cook this for approximately 18 minutes so let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay guys so um, the first thing I did was I sprayed the bottom of the uh, pizza pans with some non-stick baking spray because I don't know I do not want um, the crust to stick to the bottom of this pan and I know it's even done that with um, store-bought pieces so I went ahead and did that and then I did taste this um, pizza sauce it not it's not bad it's really not bad at all but um, it does need some doctoring up. So I'm just going to be pouring it into this jar. I'm sorry, into this bowl. And I'm gonna be doctoring it up with some stuff. And maybe give it a little bit of pinch of sugar as well cause it is a little tart. And I know I'll get heartburn if I don't. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll continue from there. Alright guys, so I got my pizza sauce all mixed up just the way I like it. And I've opened up my cheese and all that other good stuff just to kind of save some time. I've sliced up my um, peppers and my tomatoes as well. So I'm going to be doing two different kind of pizzas. One is just going to be cheese and pepperoni. And the other one is going to have all the other stuff that you see on it. That way we can mix and match because I know my daughter is just going to love the pepperoni. And maybe I'll do a little uh, of the gypsy peppers on hers because she does love a little spice to everything she eats. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to scoop up. And I wonder if I should get a bigger spoon here but we're just going to start scooping some of this tomato sauce on top of the dough like so And 
I guess we can go ahead and just use all of this up. Great. I thought I was going to have to put some back in the jar and put it in the refrigerator, but I see I don't. So that's good. All right. So then we're just going to spread this out over the pizza. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. How about that? So we're just going to spread it out over the pizza. How do you guys like your pizza? I like mine, um, like the way I'm making it now. I can also use a little bit of um, spinach on here sometimes. Um, but I didn't feel like buying a whole bag of spinach just to make pizza with and then have it go to waste. Um, I love banana peppers. I also like um, using the fresh pepperoni, but I was in the Walmart and I had that mask on. In all honesty, I was just trying to get what I needed and get out the Walmart. So I was looking and I found, I picked up the first pepperoni that I found. All right, I'm going to put some more sauce over here on this side. Looks like I got too much over here. All righty. Okay, that's, so that's good. Then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my cheese. All right, do you guys like your pizza really cheesy or not so cheesy? I like my pizza to be really cheesy. But I'm not going to put a whole lot of cheese on here either because of the simple fact that if you put too much cheese on here and it doesn't melt or it takes a longer time for the pizza to get done. So, I'm going to put some on this one. And I got the finely shredded mozzarella cheese so that I make sure that it does, you know, really melt down in there. So that's why I picked that one up. <laughs> I know you guys are like, wow, that's a lot of cheese. But like I said, it's finely shredded and I like for each bite to have some cheese in it. Alrighty, I think that's good enough. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients to this pizza.
they go into the oven. And like I said, my oven is already preheated at 450 degrees. And we're going to cook these for about 18 minutes. And I will be back to show you what they look like. Pizza party, hey! I've been working a pizzeria. What y'all think? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm kidding, y'all. But um, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm not mad at me. Not even a little bit. All right, all right, guys. So this is the finished product. I'm sorry, my husband was holding on to me, and then he just let me go, so I fell. Thanks, hun. Welcome. So, uh, okay, so the first thing I would not do is recommend you putting that baking spray underneath there because my pizza pan, well, the pizza pan burnt, but the pizza is actually not burnt underneath. I did check that. So, this is what this one looks like, and this is what that one looks like. So, um, if I get a chance, I will let you know what they thought. If I don't let you know, then that means it was good. If I get any negative reviews, I'll try to record them for you. But um, that's going to do it for this video. Happy Friday. I know it's probably going to be Monday when you see this video. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Everybody continue to stay safe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Alright, bye-bye.